yet for the noises yet. Doesn't matter what. Noise is. Good. And she's going to be noisy. We've got 64 microphones on the front with a fixed lens camera in the middle. With the microphones and the camera, it basically protects any compressed air leak onto the screen. All right. And is it and is it rely on a particular pitch of the frequency? Yes. Yeah. So no, it, it, air leaks. Have got so it filters out all the other noise. Correct. We have filtering out all the background noises. Would be nice if the plant was running, but I think you guys have seen probably enough videos. Yeah, because now that. you can now you can actually hear it by the exactly. Right. Yeah. So this thing here will pick up uh, a 0 0.005 CFM leak from 10 meters away. The I-900 will work up to 50 meters distance. So I suppose the bonus about this compared to conventional air leak detection where someone wears a set of headphones, walking around with a wand, they're actually listening to the noise and zoning in on it. This thing will be able to tell you pretty much straight away. So this is like if there's an Yep, so it's just listening for the noises. And these microphones work in an array. So basically they all work together as soon as this <laughs> no, trust me, some places are lit up. The other thing you can do after you've taken the photos, you can put some notes in here. So you can, so you can say So that will come across with the file now. What you, else you can do is that once we've found the leak, you can take photo notes and we can go, okay. And you can take... Uh, no, I don't know. Okay. You can take, you know, if there's other information that you want to grab, these will come across with that file as well. You can also enter tags in there. So you can enter your asset name, asset ID, and the asset type. These the information will also come across. Then you save the file and it's done. Oh, yeah. That could also what is what's in there? Inside the pipe, he's checking as well. Not sure what's inside. inside. So the lag. I think that's a steam. What's steam in that? Steam. Steam. There's a big steam up as well. A big steam up as well. But it's not to say that there's a steam leak. So is there a different frequency? I want to see. But this is where I'll, I'll pay attention. So the other thing as well, like especially with gas pipes, um, around the bends and corners, turbulence is created inside. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this can pick up that turbulence as well. So someone like Darren that knows the process, he'll know if that could be a leak or not. Where, you know, once upon a time I thought it was a gas leak. And yes, you can find out that there, that was And as you were saying before, we can upload the pictures that will tell the cost as well or the size of the leak as well. Correct. Not only that is the leak, the size as well and cost. So with this, yeah. we, what we can do is we can go to acoustics, uh, sorry, markers, 
I want the center point marker on. Yeah. So now what it's going to do, I should. So we can set a maximum and a minimum decibel value. So that's the size of the leak. So we can change that to show the decibel scale. So the color of the actual leak is the decibel readings and how much it is. It's far away, no one can hear it, but it can still yep. pinpoint there. So see how now it's found it? And it's got 80 decibels. 80 decibels. Bring it below. It's still showing it, but it's not locked on. Now it is. Numbers normally we're looking for. Yeah. Now, whenever there is this mark, yeah, that's so the major. There's the one here, yeah. This one is a leak. Check up there. This way you find the leak here. Nah, either way. That one up there, yeah. That one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe you can hear it. 